All right, hi guys, my name is Abby Gwynn and I'm here at McWayne Science Center with one of my favorite exhibits, the Bed of Nails. So if you've been to McWayne before, you're probably familiar with this exhibit. It's definitely one of our fan favorites. So let's figure out the science behind it. But first, let's try it out. So I'm gonna hop on this bed of nails and then I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna grab my little remote control over here and as soon as I push up, I'm gonna be lifted by hundreds of nails. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So you guys can see my body is being lifted off of this table by those nails I was talking about earlier. And it doesn't hurt at all. And now I'm gently brought back down to the table. So let's find out the science behind it. So you saw me go up and down on this bed of nails, but let's talk about how it works. And I'm gonna use a balloon here. So I have a single nail, I have a balloon, and then I have a miniature bed of nails for my balloon. So if I am walking around in the yard and I step on a nail, that's gonna hurt really badly. But when I was on this bed of nails, it didn't hurt at all. So let's see what's going on. I've got my nail, I've got my balloon. If I take this nail and put a lot of pressure on this balloon, I'm gonna pop it, but I'm not gonna pop it now, I promise. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure and you can see all of that pressure is concentrated on a single area of the balloon. But what happens when we're on a bed of nails is all of that pressure is spread out over a wide surface area. So we'll put our balloon on here, just like when I was sitting on the bed of nails. And you'll see, I can even push down on this balloon really, really hard and it's still not popping because the pressure is spread across a really large surface area and all of that force is not strong enough to pop my balloon. That's our bed of nails. We hope to see you again soon.